One Brentwood Academy student is saying enough is enough and he's now fighting back in the form of a lawsuit. News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis explains how this all stems from a high profile sexual assault case. Kimberly. Vicki, one of the students involved in the investigation is now 18 years old. He's applying for colleges, but he's afraid a website that was created surrounding the case will hurt his chances of continuing his education. It was a nightmare for a handful of Brentwood Academy students back in August. Sexual assault allegations that landed the boys in the center of a lawsuit. No criminal charges were ever filed against the students, but their problems didn't go away. They have created their own website called Vivat Veritas, which means the truth, let the truth uh, prevail. But attorney Larry Crane says this Facebook page is anything but the truth. Crane represents Bo Brown, one of the boys involved in the Brentwood Academy sexual assault investigation. Crane says even though no criminal charges were filed, Brown is being targeted by two parents, so he had to fight back with a lawsuit. This lawsuit is about the consequences when people use their social media irresponsibly and publish what are vitriolic lies about other people that can hurt them. Brown is suing Michelle and Willis Knoll for $300,000. Crane argues the couple invaded Brown's privacy and have damaged his reputation in one of the most critical moments of his life. And this young man is at a pivotal place in his life where he's about to enter college and begin at making application. His reputation that he's worked hard to, to keep uh, is in, in jeopardy. Brown is hopeful this lawsuit will finally help put this nightmare behind him. The family just wants the record set straight. Now we have heard back from one of the defendants named in the case, but she has no comment at this time. For now, we are live in the newsroom. I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5.